Donald Trump is attacking U.S. law enforcement again, saying documents released yesterday suggest an illegal spying operation against his 2016 election campaign. The documents involved FBI surveillance requests aimed at former Trump advisor Carter Page and possible collaboration on his part with Russian officials. The CBC's Paul Hunter is following this story, joins us now from Washington. Hey, Paul, so what is Trump saying now? Well, he's tweeting, but he's, mm -hmm. he's, he's not backing up what he's tweeting with facts. So to his 53 million uh, followers, uh, Trump is saying that the documents show that the FBI spied on the Trump campaign in 2016, an illegal scam, uh, he writes. Uh, these documents indeed are applications for surveillance of Carter Page, a one-time Trump campaign advisor. To do that, um, authorities have to convince judges that there's a valid reason for it and describe evidence they have to support it. In these documents, the FBI is basically saying it believes Page is or was uh, collaborating with Russia, a federal crime to uh, meddle in that uh, 2016 uh, election campaign. So Trump tweets, uh, looking more and more like the Trump campaign was illegally spied upon to the benefit of Hillary Clinton. But Trump doesn't connect the dots on that, nor does he note that the judges who agreed to the surveillance, who saw what the FBI was saying and uh, signed off on it, were Republican appointees. And they did it on four separate occasions, once in October 2016, before the election, and then again after Trump was elected three more times. Um, again, with, uh, without explaining, Trump is tweeting, you know, witch hunt, rigged, a scam. Worth noting, uh, Hannah, he also mentions, uh, you know, that dossier we've heard so much about that mm -hmm. suggests uh, Trump was in a compromising circumstance in Moscow at one point. Uh, the dirty dossier, as Trump calls it, suggesting, uh, t Trump is suggesting today that it was uh, paid for by Democrats, but failing to note that although some of the contents of that dossier form a part of these documents, it's only a small part. Uh, and although much has been redacted, this was made public through a New York Times access to information request. It's clear there's much more to the FBI's request than simply that dossier. And Paul Carter Page was speaking today. So what did he have to say? Yeah, and apologies, because this, this stuff is, it's hard to follow some of this because there's so many names and allegations. And oh, you do a great it's, job. It's <laughs> hard staying in front of it. Well, thanks. So Carter Page, uh, the man at the center of it, uh, uh, this, these documents anyways, is, is described in the documents this way. Here's, here's how it effectively opens. The target of this application is Carter W. Page, a U.S. person and an agent of a foreign government. It begins with that. The allegation of the FBI in uh, seeking permission for the surveillance on Page, as I say, is their belief he was collaborating with Russia to meddle in the 2016 election. Carter himself went on TV today to say, no way. Uh, the document overstates what role he played in various communications he may have had with Russians over time and, in fact, get stuff plain wrong. Here's some of his denial on CNN earlier today. This is so ridiculous. It's just beyond words. You know, it's uh, you're talking about misleading the courts. It's just so, so misleading going through those 400 plus page documents. You know, where do you even begin? It's literally a complete joke, and it only continues. It's just really sad. That said, bottom line, bit by bit, this keeps moving forward. Uh, it's clear by the unredacted bits that the FBI seems to have had a significant amount of material uh, with which to make its case. The redacted parts are, of course, impossible to interpret. Robert Mueller, meanwhile, continues to investigate. Bits and pieces keep emerging and moving to the headlines. You know, pieces of the puzzle, if nothing else, this uh, may set some of the record straight on page. But this is a long way from being anywhere near over, Hannah.